I hate when people say I don't work out because I don't feel like it. Who actually just feels like working out? It just feels like lifting a whole bunch of heavy ass weights and literally ripping your muscle tissues. You have to go through hard work to be one a good outcome. You're not gonna always just feel like going through that hard work. And that's just how life works. It takes sacrifices to get a reward. Stop picking short-term comfort over long-term success. And remember, your future self is either suffering or thriving from all the decisions that you're making right now. I want you to know that if you have a goal, it is no reason whatsoever for you to not reach that goal. Excuses means absolutely nothing. I love you. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sand coming back with another one man but i had to show y'all that message real quick for rail chosen man shout out to rail chosen go follow him on tiktok go follow him on instagram man because listen he spitting straight truth right there you know what i'm saying you know and what people got to realize is that man nothing is gonna come easy and you know you you you're not gonna feel like doing what has to be done all the time man that's just the facts you know what I mean? It's just like you said, you think people feel like going to the gym all the time and ripping and tearing muscles and all that shit. Honestly, I do. You know what I mean? But not all the time. I know. I, I just know that I have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because in the gym, that's where my peace is at. You know, that's where my, my focus is at. That's where my meditation is at. That's where my therapy is at, you know, next to talking to the most high. So, you know, I really like to get in there and focus on you know my health my my next move you know my mindset all of that i like to focus on a lot of things while i'm in the gym but that's not for everybody you know what i'm saying at the end of the day but that doesn't mean that i feel like going all the time you know I, that doesn't mean that every day i'm gonna feel like being there but at the end of the day, I know I have to do it just like anything else. You know, we're not going to feel like retaining every day. You know, every day is a struggle, you know, but, you know, we still do that shit. You know, sometimes when you when you think back or you look at everybody else looking like they living their best life and all of that shit, you know, you think about how hard you got it because you got all these things that you're doing that's making you better. But that's what I want you to focus on. You doing things that's going to make you better. A lot of times when you're looking on the other side and people, look, it look like they're having all of this fun. When you think about it from, you know, just drinking and being all in the crowd, being around all these people, you know what I'm saying? Eating whatever they want, chasing these women, smoking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, it, 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 may, it may look appealing, bro, but... You know, that's that's not making them better, bro. That's what I want you to realize, bro. A lot of this shit that you see people doing that you that, that look like it's a good time is not making them better. And when you think about some of those times that you had, bro, we you know, yeah, we could we could reflect on it and remember how much fun we had, but you know, at the end of the day we were suffering. And it's just like Rail Chosen said, bro, what we doing now. You know, our future self can be suffering from our actions, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take that into account, you know, with how you living and the things that you're doing, what you're putting in your body, you know, what you're putting in your mind and really start setting yourself up for success, you know, because there's a lot of people, you know, that's that's up there in age and I'm, and I'm pretty sure they wish that they could change a lot. I wish I'm pretty sure they wish they could change you know, the way that they thought, you know, I'm pretty sure they wish they could change the way that they ate. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they wish they could change a lot of the things that they was doing, the relationships that they had and all that shit, because motherfuckers is really suffering. You can say what you want, you know, yeah, we all live our life. We go through our shit, but you know, it's a lot of people that suffering because of their actions. So when you take that into account with how you living now, you think about it. You know what I mean? Some of y'all ain't got no, you know, no kids right now. Some of y'all ain't in no relationships. You know what I mean? You know, some of y'all got, you know, you got time to make yourself better. You know what I mean? And that's what we doing right here on this journey. We got time to fix some things and make ourselves better and set ourselves up for success. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially with our health, bro, because it's real out here. And the last thing you want to do is just be out here all messed up to where, you know, now you got to depend on other people just because you didn't, you know, want to want to get in the gym and work out 
you know, and do the things that's going to make your lungs healthy. Do the things that's going to stretch your muscles out, make your, your make your muscles healthy and get good oxygen. You ain't want to do the things that was going to actually help build your immune, uh, immune system, build your respiratory system. You know what I'm saying? And, you know... You know, you got to realize, bro, that's going to be, that's a big part of your process, bro. That's a big part of your elevation. Because if you don't feel right, you're not going to elevate. If you too heavy, you definitely not going to elevate. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's heavy, that's weighed down by weight, fat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, health issues, uh, relationship problems, baby mama issues, drugs, addiction, alcohol, all that shit. All of that is weight. All of that is weight on top of you. And there's no way that you can rise above that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important for you to clean. That's why I tell you to clean your life up now in all aspects. You know what I mean? Clean your spirits up. You know what I'm saying? Get the most high in your life so you can get on the righteous path. Get rid of people that don't mean nothing and that, that, that adds no value to your life. Get rid of them old habits. You know, start changing a lot of shit in your life. Clean that shit up so you can't elevate, so you light as a feather. You know what I'm saying? You can't be light as a feather carrying all these burdens, carrying all your past issues, carrying people that 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 don't, you know, serve no purpose in your life. How the how the fuck? How you gonna lift? How you gonna lift? How you gonna lift anything up? You know, you can't. And, and when you can't lift yourself up, you definitely not gonna be able to lift up the people that really mean something to you. The people that do bring you value, your kids, all of that shit, if you got them, you know what I mean? You know, it ain't no way. Ain't no way you're going to elevate in your purpose. Ain't no way you're going to get to the goals and dreams that you have with a, a, a chaotic lifestyle. So understand, man, what Real Chosen trying to tell you, bro. We ain't going to feel like doing things that we have to do. We, we not going to feel, we not going to be up to it all the time. And we know that. We experiencing that on this journey. We experiencing it with these flat lines. We experiencing it when, when we going to the gym. We experiencing it when we meditate. We experiencing it with everything, bro. Going to work. We, we experiencing it. But at the end of the day, bro, this is what's making us stronger. For real, for real. Yeah, we can go over there to the other side. We can go back to darkness. But what's that going to do for the future you? What's that going to do for your vibration right now? What's that going to do for your purpose? What's that going to do for your finances, bro? What is it? What's it going to do to your what's it going to do for your spirits, man? Going over there. You know what I'm saying? Where them demons lie, where the devil lie. You know what I'm saying? We're a bunch of haters and a bunch of motherfuckers, some crab in the barrel motherfuckers that don't want to see the next come up be at. You want to go over there where everybody pulling each other down? You know what I'm saying? Everybody whispering and gossiping. You know what I mean? Everybody hating on each other. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't want to see the next person rise. And as soon as you do, you know, there you go. You know, you got, you got, you got all types of fucking drama and shit like that. It's like, bro, like, nah, bro. You know what I mean? Fuck all of that shit. You didn't, you didn't live that life already. You didn't been in these situations. You didn't been amongst the crowds, the groups, the circles, all of that shit. But now ain't the time for it. I'm here to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling you how to live. But at the same time, bro, it's just like, bro, you know what I mean? Just it's, you know, it's best to keep going and doing what you're doing. Doing your own thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's lit where you at too, bro. It's up where you at too. You know what I'm saying? The work that you putting in, you setting yourself up for success. You're not setting yourself up for failure like you used to, like I used to. You know what I'm saying? I, I was setting myself up for failure and fail I did. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the thing the bounce back is real when you get on this journey. The bounce back is real when you get the most high in your life. The bounce back is real when you get your focus back. The bounce back is real when you really start to, you know, analyze and figure out what you need and what you don't need. And, you know, and when you figure that out and you know what's working with you and working for you, bro. You know, because that's what it's about. You got to find what works for you. And then no matter what, how you feel, bro, when you find what works for you and what's, what's, what's lifting you up. Listen, bro, even though it's lifting you up and you seeing the results, that doesn't mean you still going to feel like doing it every day, bro. But you know that feeling and you want to stay close to that. You know what I mean? And then what happens after you do it? 
every time. Tell me what happens after you do the shit that you didn't feel like doing. You feel good as fuck. And for any of y'all that say you don't feel good as fuck after you do something that you were supposed to do or that you didn't feel like doing, though, tell me you don't feel good after you do it. Tell me you don't feel like a winner. Tell me you don't feel like a warrior after you do some shit that you didn't feel like doing. After you pretty much fucking defeat your emotions. Because that's what you did in that When you still do get up and do what you supposed to do You defeat your emotions A lot of people can't do that bro That's what I want you to realize A lot of people can't do that They gonna give in to how they feel You know what I'm saying I feel tired, I can't do it I'm in a bad mood, I gotta act out uh, You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm angry, you know what I mean I, I, You know they gonna give in to every fucking emotion bro Every emotion you know, to where motherfuckers just need so, and this is what they do. When motherfuckers steady giving in to how they feel every rip, bro, first of all, you know they setting themselves up for failure and everything that they do. They making that a habit. And what they doing is building a chain of things that have to line up in order for them to be productive. So just think about a Rubik's Cube. Pretty much that becomes their life. So the only time they feel like they gonna feel like doing something is if every cube is in order. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of 10, what they don't realize is that that's not how life works. So as soon as one cube is off, that's gonna be a reason for them to slack. That's gonna be a reason for them to do drugs. That's gonna be a reason for them to underachieve. That's gonna be a reason for them to give in to their to they desires. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna be relapsing all over the place. They're gonna be constantly looking for pleasure. They're gonna be constantly looking for shortcuts. They're gonna be constantly looking for the easy way out. They're gonna be constantly expressing every emotion for everybody to see it because they will have no control. Their life is gonna be pure, uh, a, pure, a shit show a pure fucking shit show and all of these things can you imagine you ever had a uh, had a friend or knew a, a, a female that just have to have all of these things in order for them to 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 be happy they have to have all these things in order for them to do what needs to be done it's always a fucking obstacle just for them to accomplish something just for them to do something it's always some type of fucking drama behind some shit that they do you never you ever knew some people like that bro you know what I'm saying? Almost to the point to where they look for something out of order just so they don't do what needs to be done in their life. Don't set yourself up for that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's the lifestyle that a lot of people build. And guess what, bro? You know what I mean? They aging quicker than anybody. Them the ones that you're going to see, you know what I mean? When you get older, you know what I'm saying? That's going to not be in a good shape. You know, they're not going to have, their they mental health is going to be off. You know what I mean? They're not going to be where they want to be at in life. They're going to be still playing catch up. They're going to need all types of assistance, bro. All types. All types. Because they couldn't they couldn't stay disciplined in their life. You know what I mean? They couldn't stay disciplined in their life. They did what they wanted to do. They did they 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 they, they, they had to feel like doing everything that they did. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So anything that they didn't feel like doing, bro, they won't go do it. So, you know, anytime it was some resistance, they never stood up to it. They never fought through anything. They never powered through anything, bro. And when you can't do that and you're not disciplined out here, bro, and, and, and you run every time it's some resistance, you run every time it's a problem, you run every time you don't feel like doing something, bro, listen, man, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing good going to come to you, man. You know, nothing, no, no blessings going to come your way. No achievements going to happen for you, bro. You know, it's no strength in that. You ain't going to grow. So we got to continue to grow out here, man, and man the fuck up. Ain't nobody, don't nobody, don't nobody out here give a fuck about your feelings and what you feel like doing and don't do. Don't do. You know what I'm saying? My speech. Y'all. Don't nobody give a fuck, though. So when you in a bad place and everybody just walking around you, everybody walking past you and not, and ain't nobody giving a fuck and you you become invisible out here when you get older, that's on you. That's on you. You didn't do what needed to be done. Other people, they had to fight too hard in order to get what they have, to get to where they at, to get on the level that they own. So you think they're going to give a fuck about you? 
When they had to watch you have fun, watch you sleep in, watch you eat what you wanted to eat, watch you do drugs, watch you party, they could give a fuck about you. Not a damn fuck. Not one fuck about you. Because they had to fight too hard to get where they at, bro. They ain't going to give a fuck about you and your problems, your addictions, none of that shit. None of that shit. They watched you fucking party. They watched you do whatever it is you wanted to do. Now they going to watch you live how you set your life up to live. And you can't get mad at them. That's what you got a society of people getting mad at everybody else for the decisions that they fucking made. And it's ridiculous, bro. So make sure you making the right decisions for yourself, for your future, for your health, for your vibration, for your spirits, for your life. All right. And that's my word, man. My name is Jason and Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then second, stop wasting my time. Oh shit, less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.